my name is Jody Woodcock and I'm the Director of Curriculum and Instruction at Woden ISD. Part of my responsibilities include federal programs. So I wanted to take a minute and share with you some information regarding our 2021 Title I program. Title I is the nation's oldest and largest federal program. This federal program helps to ensure that all children have a fair, equal, and significant opportunity to obtain a high quality education. In order to qualify for Title I, an entire school must be at least 40% enrolled in free or reduced lunch. District-wide, Woden ISD has 57.4% of our students enrolled in a free or reduced lunch program. We use Title I funds primarily at the elementary to pay for um, our reading teachers, pre-K teacher, Chromebooks um, for STAR classrooms, professional development for the district, extended day tutorials, summer school, and contracted services to help teachers with their instruction. We serve students who are at risk through reading programs like Corrective Reading, Accelerated Reader, Nye House, and Lexia. Some of these are internet-based. We also serve um, our students um, with math support through Reflex and Dreambox. We utilize BrainPop. We host after school tutorials in the spring. We purchase resources like Mentoring Minds, Cameco, and Star Master workbooks um, for tutorials as we get closer to star testing in the spring. We also have summer school for fifth grade enrichment as they prepare for their star tests. And we will receive approximately $235,000 in Title I funds for the 2021 school year. We are required to send home parent, teacher, student compacts each year and keep copies on file in the administration office. These compacts consist of agreements between the parent, guardian, students, instructional staff, and administrators. Woden Elementary School is devoted to ensuring that all its children have access to a quality education by providing a well-balanced curriculum designed to equip our students with the tools and understanding necessary to be successful in the challenges of work and life as presented by an ever-changing society. So let's look at some of these agreements. The agreement of the parent and guardian is that they will do their best to ensure that my child is on time and attends school regularly. Monitor my child's homework, provide a place and schedule for study time. Encourage my child to read at home by using school and community libraries. Read to my child often as a substitute for television. Respond to school communications in a timely manner and attend functions when possible. Support the school in its efforts to maintain proper discipline. Make myself knowledgeable of the student handbook, code of conduct, and other policies relevant to my child. And provide opportunity for a healthy breakfast and encourage my child to always eat healthy. The student agreements include attending school regularly, be on time, and be prepared for classes. Follow school rules and be responsible for my own behavior and choices. Pay attention and ask for help when needed. Read for fun. Make sure my parent guardian receives all communication. Complete assignments on time and to the best of my ability. Eat a healthy breakfast each morning and choose healthy foods. For teaching staff, the agreement is that they will assist parents with ways to help their children in the home to continue to receive educational training, regularly communicate with parents on their child's progress, teach necessary concepts to students and encourage practice of academics at home, be aware of the needs of all children and strive to meet those needs, be knowledgeable and supportive of school policy. The administrator agrees to promote a family-friendly and welcoming school setting, to provide a safe and orderly environment for learning, to provide timely and regular information on school-wide activities and events, to encourage positive communications between the teacher, parent, and student, to oversee the instructional programs at each grade and provide opportunities for parents, and to be involved in the planning and evaluation of those programs. We also have a copy of our Woden ISD Parent Involvement Policy um, on our district website under Curriculum and Instruction in Title I, and it's linked here in this presentation. If you have any questions about um, federal programs, Title I resources, our parent, um, student, teacher, administrator, compacts, or our parent involvement policy, please don't hesitate to contact me. I would love to discuss any of those things with you and look at any changes you feel might be necessary. Again, my name is Jody Woodcock, and you can contact me at jwoodcock at wodenisd.org. Have a great day. Thanks so much for taking time to um, learn a little more about Title I.